Finnish black metal hails. Today we will talk about a band called Goats of Doom with an album called Tionhanen Omilen, which translates roughly to The Road or The Way is for His Own Only or His Dedicated People or whatever. As you can see, uh, there is a Jesus quite rotten one on the cross, or, well, let's presume it's Jesus. And uh, this kind of a religious names, or name that implies sort of religious, refers to him, which I guess is not the Christian God, but maybe we could assume safely that it's Satan, the devil himself, or oh, something in that respect anyway. Here is the fine looking Digipack released through uh, Purity Through Fire. There is also a vinyl edition. Uh, I don't know if there's a traditional CD edition anyway, but that's beside the point here. This one looks very nice, even if you're just looking for a CD release. And here we have this booklet, which obviously has all the necessary information regarding contact information and when the album was recorded and then we have these lyrics here um, the band started pretty much with English lyrics English album titles and whatnot but quite soon they switched to their mother tongue Finnish that is so now they all the lyrics all the album names are in Finnish as you can see these guys just love their skulls um, I, I have to guess this is one and the same skull in every picture, so it's not like the, each guy has their own skull, but what do I know? This is just a, a estimate, or a guess, if you will. And here we have this uh, booklet. Pretty nice and simple, all the lyrics right there, but like I said, if you want them to have in English, you need some translation work to be done. Um, Ghost of Doom didn't start exactly well when they did their first recording in 2011 or so. So the band has there been there roughly about 10 years now, a little less, I guess. And um, after the initial releases, the band kind of managed to level up, so to speak. They managed to create their kind of own sound, even if it's not the most original as such. But, I mean, they kind of started to develop the feeling that was later on something that Goats of Doom would be kind of recognized with. And that is of melodic black metal. It's definitely not one of the most violent ones. It's not definitely something that could be described as raw black metal, but it's kind of a melodic mid-tempo black metal, which is kind of a catchy and very easy to listen to. So um, one of those which we could call midstream black metal bands, not exactly too big, really big, to reach kind of a mainstream audience, even if we talk about in terms of black metal, or extreme metal mainstream, but still not anymore kind of an underground band that nobody has ever heard of. I mean, this is their fifth full-length album already, so I think they have uh, been doing really hard work, releasing um, some sort of release almost every year during their past nine, almost 10 years of existence, and uh, with their latest releases, I think Goats of Doom has pretty much managed to keep their level. They are not exactly the greatest band on earth when it comes to black metal. They are not the ones that basically renew the sound or create anything new as such to the genre. But what I like to say in a positive way, really, is that their melodic black metal is very, very solid. I mean, it's not like one of those bands that managed to create something memorable, like one or two hits, and then the rest is just utter crap. But more like creating very consistent, very solid, very um, easy to listen to kind of a black metal. One could even say it's easy, <laughs> easy listening black metal because it's so melodic and it's kind of something that could appeal to people who are a little bit shy of black metal because it's so raw, it's so violent, blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of a simple and uh, easy to approach, but it could be, to be honest, a little bit more catchier, nevertheless, being melodic and all that. Now, the production value is pretty much nice in, in place here. That is, it's not too clean, but it's still more or less clean versus to more raw or bizarre sounding black metal albums. And same could be said about those vocals. They are kind of a 
typical screamy, shrieky vocals. Not exactly something that you might like remember if you have a little bit of time since last listening to Goats of Doom. So they don't break anything. They are not kind of a unique, as we could say about Attila of Mayhem, but I mean, they fit this music just right. There are also some growly parts, which fortunately are not in the main role, because to be honest, while they kind of give this a little bit, what could be personality, I think they are just there to uh, make the difference, but they don't bring any extra value to the songs as such. In my opinion, Gods of Doom could well survive without those uh, rolling vocals, but that's just me saying this. Um, for anybody interesting, interested in uh, Finnish black metal, like bands such as Horna, Horna uh, I think Goats of Doom is very much the next step you could be taking. Uh, like I said, it's not exactly in the underground anymore, but it's not big either. So I would just say this is a sort of a midstream black metal. And as such, they are doing just nice work. So um, in case you're interested, the band is already out with this album released uh, on the last day of January 2020. So a little bit, well, time has passed already, but very, very fresh still. There is an LP version and the CD at least out. So go to check out samples on the band's Bandcamp page, and then you know if you're going to like them or not. I think it's quite decent, so give it a go. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.